Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we are going to discuss low platelets count during pregnancy. Platelets are also called thrombocytes, are the smallest human blood cells and play a crucial role in blood clotting. Released by your bone marrow, the quantity of these specialized cells in your blood is generally reported on a complete blood count or CBC. Pregnancy is generally a pro-clotting state which makes sense. Clotting helps protect women from excessive bleeding at delivery but there is a delicate balance between activities and help your blood clot and those that cause too much clotting. What causes low platelets in pregnancy? Outside of pregnancy, a normal platelet count ranges from 150 to 450,000 per microliter. Platelets per microliter of blood are the measurement units. It's normal for your platelets count to dip by a few thousand during pregnancy due to in part to hemodilation. The body makes more plasma during pregnancy so the number in total of platelets per volume of blood will be lower. When the number dips below 1 lakh to 150,000 microliter, your doctor will want to keep a closer eye on you to reduce the risk of complications. 75% are due to normal changes in pregnancy. 21% are related to hypertensive diseases such as preeclampsia or health syndrome. 4% are due to inherited or immunological conditions in which the immune system makes antibodies which attacks platelet cells. This condition is also called thrombocytopenia purpura or ITP. Platelets may be destroyed at a high rate in pregnancy as the spleen increases in size due to increased blood volume during pregnancy. It may destroy more platelets in the filtering process. A severe lack of folic acid in your blood can cause thrombocytopenia, so it is important to take your prenatal vitamins. Certain bacterial and viral illness such as Epstein-Barr, HIV and Hepatitis B and C can also lower your platelet counts. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy can decrease the body's platelets production. Medications such as heparin, anticonvulsants and antibiotics that contains sulfamethoxol, common in medication for urine, ear and respiratory infection can also decrease production. Risks for mom and baby low platelet count can lead to inability to have an epidural during labor due to a risk of epidural hematoma in which abdominal blood collection in the spine can cause spinal cord damage. Increased bleeding at the time of vaginal or caesarean section delivery. Premature delivery of the reduction in platelets is due to severe preeclampsia. The baby is unlikely to develop low platelets if your decreased count is caused by regular drips in pregnancy or hypertension. However, if your low count is due to an immune condition, the antibodies that destroy platelets may cross the placenta and cause the same issue for the fetus. Treatment Options Most patients with low platelets do not require treatment. Just observation, your doctor may recommend taking folate and vitamin B12 supplements to support platelet production. Here are some foods that are necessary if you have a low count of platelets during pregnancy. Folate-rich food Folate is an essential vitamin B for healthy blood cells, folic acid is the synthetic form of folate. According to the NIH, adults require at least 400 microgram of folate daily and pregnant women need 600 mcg. Foods contain folate or folic acid include dark leafy green vegetables such as spinach and Brussels sprouts, beef liver, black-eyed peas, fortified breakfast cereals and dairy alternative, rice, yeast. Vitamin B12 rich foods. Vitamin B12 is necessary for the formation of red blood cells. Low level of B12 in the body may also contribute to low platelet counts. Vitamin B12 is present in animal based products include beef and beef liver, eggs, fish including clams, trout, salmon, and tuna. Vitamin C rich foods. Vitamin C plays a vital role in the immune function. Vitamin C also helps the platelets work correctly and enhances the body's ability to absorb iron which is another essential nutrient for platelets. Many fruits and vegetables contain vitamin C including broccoli, Brussels sprouts, citrus fruits such as oranges and grapefruits, kiwi fruit, red and green bell peppers, and strawberries. 
Vitamin D rich foods, vitamin D contributes to the proper functioning of the bones, muscles, nerves, and immune system. According to the platelet disorder support, vitamin D also plays an essential role in the function of the bone marrow cells that produce platelets and other blood cells. Food sources for vitamin D include egg yolk, fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel, fish liver oil, fortified milk, and yogurt. Vitamin K is essential for blood clotting and bone health. According to an informal PDSA survey, 26.98% of people who took vitamin K reported an improvement in their platelet counts and bleeding symptoms. Foods rich in vitamin K include natto, a fermented soybean dish, leafy greens such as collards, turnip greens, spinach, and kale, broccoli, soybean, and soybean oil, pumpkin. Iron rich foods. Iron is essential for healthy level of red blood cells and platelets. Iron rich food include oysters, beef liver, fortified breakfast cereals, white beans and kidney beans, dark chocolate, lentils and tofu. Other than that, some foods are there who sh which you should avoid during pregnancy. Alcohol, aspartum or artificial sweetener, cranberry juice, quinine, a substance in tonic water and bitter lemon. These things should be prohibited but there are some supplements reports that contain the things which can increase platelet counts. Number 1. Chlorophyll Chlorophyll is a green pigment found in plants. Taking chlorophyll may alleviate some of the symptoms of a low platelet counts, although researches on its effectiveness is limited. Papaya leaf extract Significantly increased platelet and red blood cells counts when compared to other mice. However, more research is needed, especially in human subjects. Papaya leaf extract is available in health stores in pill form. Melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone produced by the body that helps regulate the body's internal clock. Melatonin is available in liquid tablet or topical form in health stores. Symptoms. The symptoms of a low platelet counts only occur when levels are particularly low. Mildly low levels often do not produce any symptoms. When symptoms occur, they include dark red spots on the skin, headaches after minor injuries, easy bruising, spontaneous or excessive bleeding, bleeding from the mouth or nose after bruising teeth. These are the symptoms of low platelet counts. I hope I have explained all about the low count of platelets in blood during pregnancy. If you find this video useful, then like it, share it and also subscribe our channel. And you can give your comments in the comment section for improving our videos. Thank you.